Hello CIS scholars, my name is Isha Chaudhary and I am a pre-primary educator from Countryside International School. Today I am here uh, to present a beautiful story to all of you. The title of my story is The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time there was a little red hen who lived on the farm. She has three friends, a sleepy cat, meow, meow, a noisy duck, quack, 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 and a lazy dog, bow, 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 bow. So, one day, the red hen found some seeds on the ground. She thought of an idea. The little red hen decided to plant these seeds with the help of her friends and she thought, let me go to my friends. I'm sure they will definitely be going to help me out. So she went to the sleepy cat and asked the sleepy cat, Hey cat, will you help me in planting the seeds? Meow, meow, I'm feeling very sleepy. No, I can't help you. The little red hen was surprised. But she went on and she went to the duck and asked, Hey duck, will you please help me in planting the seeds? The noisy duck said, Quack, 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 quack. I'm not going to help you. Go away. I want to play. So the little red hen felt very bad. And then she went to the dog and asked the dog, Hey dog, will you help me in planting the seeds? The lazy dog said, Wow, 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 wow. I'm feeling very tired. I can't help you. Go away, my friend. And the hen was very upset. So she decided to plant the seeds all by herself. Seeds had grown. The little red hen went back again to her friends. And she asked the cat, Hey cat, will you help me in cutting the wheat? The cat said, Meow. Meow, I'm feeling very sleepy, the hen. Sorry, I can't help you. And then the hen went to the duck and dust. Hey, duck, will you help me in cutting the wheat? Quack, 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 quack. I'm very busy, you know. Please go back. I can't help you. And the hen was very upset. She was very sad. Nobody is helping her. And then she went to the dog and asked dog, Hey friend, hey dog, nobody is helping me. Will you please help me in cutting the wheat? The dog said, Bow, 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 bow. go away. I am not going to help you. And the hen felt very bad. She thought, why my friends are not helping me? What happened to them? And then the time has come to, to take the wheat to the mill to be grounded into flour. So, she again went back to the cat and asked the cat, Hey cat, will you help me in taking the wheat to the mill? And the cat said, Meow, meow, I can't help you, I can't help you. And then the hen went to the duck. And the duck said, Quack, 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 I'm not going to help you. And similarly, the dog also said no. He said, I am not going to help you. Go back. And the hen felt very bad. So she alone took the wheat to the mill to be grounded into flour and carried the heavy sack back to the farm. Now the time has come to bake some delicious breads. So the hen was cooking in the kitchen and Mmm, what this delicious smell is. Ah, oh, something yummy is being cooked. And all her three friends went to the kitchen and asked, Hey hen, what are you cooking? And the hen said, I am baking some bread. And who is going to help me in eating the bread? And listening to this, the cat said, Meow, meow, I will help you, I will help you. And 
The noisy dog said, quack, 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 I'm going to eat the bread, I'm going to eat the bread. And the lazy dog said, I'm going to eat the bread, I'm feeling very hungry. Listening to this, the hen said, no, I'm not going to share my bread with anyone. Why should I share my bread with you? None of you came to help me out when I was in need. So children, what did you learn from this story? The moral of this story is we should always work hard for what we want and we should never rely on others. I hope you all have enjoyed this story. Thank you.